time. There he is. The man, the Woo! myth, the legend, Buff Bagwell. How are you, sir? What's going on, man? Man, you look good, bro. You look great. Are you wearing that hat for Thank me? You. I like that hat. I am, hat. see? I like the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I have got so much to talk about. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Welcome to the show. Just listen to you. Just listening for 15 minutes, I've got Queef, Link, <laughs> Kevin Nash, Sc the shit on the airplane, and Manscaped. I could talk about all five of those things for a week. So wait, well, are you going to shave my pussy, give me a ring, and we're going to call it <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did that go off the rails. <laughs> Speechless. I mean, first, let, let's just, I got to call a spade a spade. I don't believe in the word queef. Why? You, I, 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 I never, I, I heard it 30 years ago. I've never heard one, though. I, I never <gasps> seen a girl do one. I, I, I just don't believe I believe. You never it. hit it sure so ever... hard from behind that it locks. Up that air like a fucking vessel vacuum cleaner. Oh, oh, you mean, but and see, then after see. you pull out, you hear. <laughs> but hold on. But hold on. But hold on. You said on an airplane. How the hell did that happen on an airplane? No, I said I'd be that. I, I, I creeped on an airplane thing. So blah, 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 blah. <laughs> sexual, absolutely sexual, a queef, I get. You said sitting on an airplane. I got a big ass that sucks up a lot of air, okay? <laughs> God bless it. Oh, my God. So, I, yes, queef, queef after the doggy style position, absolutely. But it's never heard it on an airplane. I did a you can shift the wrong way accidentally. I don't know, man. That's, uh, I, I never heard that one. But, but again, okay, it's been a while, though. I'm with... I'm with Big Man. I just hadn't heard Queef in a long time. It's uh, it's been a while, but no. uh, but but I, but I'm all about anything. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing Buff, back I, Queef. Buff, I was saying the same exact thing. I haven't heard Queef in like 25 years. You never hear that it's, it's term. It's been at least 20 years. Who wants yeah. to say pussy fart? <laughs> I don't Who think I've ever heard okay, pussy okay, yeah. fart in in ever like ever. It's, it's, it's no, been a yeah, decade yeah. on pussy fart. All right, let me get this back on the rails. By the way, Buff, this is my new partner in crime, Miss Daniela Petro. Daniela Petro, the great Buff Bagwell. Hello, everybody. He got bad hello, in your name. That's all I like. Hello, hello. I like it. I like it. I like hey, that but, line. But let me ask the next question right quick. Ke what was the Kevin Nash thing I just witnessed? All right, so let's go Let's go through this real quick, and I, I want you to weigh in. So. Okay. Since Danielle has joined the show, she kind of brought, you know, we were talking about different shows and shit like that. And she started discussing this one guy. And I went and looked him up and I catch this video. And I only took a snippet of it, Buff, right? Because I don't think, and I'm being honest here, I don't think I've ever run something across something so disgusting as that. I wanted to rip this dude's throat out, right? And, you know, I put it up last week, and then the guy kind of retaliated this week in some form or fashion. And I said, let me put it up again, because I want people to realize what kind of piece of shit this guy is. I don't know how else but to say it, right? This is like, what kind of piece of shit's watch him? Like, Has Kevin Nash like? seen this? I don't think so. Um, I don't think he, I think he would, honestly, I think he would have said, as a parent, we'll, we'll take away his WWE, we'll take away Magic Mike, everything. As a parent, I would have said something. If I don't think he saw it. Because I, No, you did, don't, you don't, listen to me, no, no offense or anything, but you just don't know Kevin Nash like I know Kevin Nash. When Kevin Nash hears that, there, there's going to be some kind of retaliation. What what was said? What was said? If Kevin Nash there, actually heard this, there would have been a hole in his head. No, when when he hears it, as soon as he hears it, there's going to be a retaliation. 
No, as there as that is entitled and should be on some real shit. That was and the worst part about it is I was saying it last week, they have that I think my son's glamming me was every time someone would donate money, that that phrase, that catchphrase would be shot out and I never knew what that was because that was my first time seeing that. And I was just like that's wow. disgusting. Oh my God. I think my son's glamming me. That's where that came from? No. No, wow. that's too far. That's too far. That's, I'm going to make it my own personal right mission to that's make this. Uh, you asked him for the death card. I want to make this kid famous, right? He wants to be famous. Let's make him famous for the right reasons. But speaking of that, Buff, um, I know you're friends with Kevin or were friends with Kevin. Um, yes. When his son passed away, what were your thoughts, and did you reach out to Kevin at all? Absolutely. I, you know, of course, I knew everybody was going to be blowing Kevin up, of course, because he, so many people love and respect Kevin Nash. But, um, you know, me and Kevin actually go back from Atlanta boys before the wrestling. You know, we both at, you know, I'm about 10 years younger than Kevin, but in, in, in the world of wrestling, that don't really mean anything. So it was, but in Atlanta, you know, Kevin was the big, you know, badass, cool bouncer in all of the top clubs. And I was the 19, 20 year old with a fake ID getting into all the cool clubs. And, and, you know, and me and Kevin were good friends. And um, then we both got into wrestling. I've gotten to rinky dink, you know, independent pro wrestling to start. And he got into WCW to start. And because of his size and his and his ability, and um, and so yeah, but we got in at the same exact time, and um, so but Kevin and me are really super good friends, and but I, I didn't reach out to him right away because I just knew he was getting bombarded, but we did speak after you know after a couple of weeks I waited and um, and did my respect you know spec phone call and just made sure he knew I cared about him, but at the same time, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was in correlation with Scott Hall's birthday. Mm. The death. Yeah. It was like a it's like the almost the same day, a year apart or something crazy. So it was like a double whammy for Kev with the Scott Hall losing him and his son. It was a it was crazy, but I, I just hated that for Kevin. He was, you know, I always I remember Kevin when he when Tristan was born, you know, and it was just a cool name, the Tristan word, and, you know, um, the uh, Legends of the Fall, you know, that was Brad Pitt's name, Tristan. Brad Pitt's character just, was my favorite. <laughs> oh, my God. And any, any, anybody, that Brad Pitt, that was one of his coolest, you know, roles, and he was super Maybe good Maybe that's why I became also... a sucker for long hair. That's why I like <laughs> long hair so much. It was because of Tristan's character. <laughs> Absolutely. So he had one of the coolest names in the world, and... Kevin knew it was a cool name and a, and a great kid and all that. So I, I hated that for Kev bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, to hear what just happened a minute ago, I really thought just for a second, I thought that I was, I mean, I knew what podcast I was going on, but I still was a little confused what was happening. And I'm like, Kevin's going to kill me for being on this show. Well, I got to be honest. I'm thinking to myself, Buff's going to see this and he.